Welcome to Spider Technologies. My name is Jason, and today I'd like to discuss the effects of having duplicate IP addresses on your network. This has to be one of the biggest red flags we are always on the lookout for as technicians. First, let me define the problem with an example. If I physically mail you a letter using the post office, where you live has a unique street address. This is because if your street address was not unique and there were two completely different buildings with the same exact street address, half the time my letter would go to the first building and the other half it would go to the second building. So you have a 50-50 chance of actually receiving what I send you. And the same exact thing is true with IP addresses. If you have a computer, printer, security camera, or IP telephone trying to use the same IP address, there are going to be issues when packets are sent over the network. Half the time, the computer is going to receive packets that were intended for a telephone, and vice versa. Unfortunately, identifying that you have duplicate IP addresses on your network is not immediately obvious and you probably won't even recognize duplicate IPs as the issue. Instead, you may experience odd symptoms. Your computer may seem unusually slow, or you may have to constantly hit refresh on a web browser for things to come up. So you can imagine if I'm trying to speak with you using an IP telephone, and half of my audio is being sent to a printer that has a duplicate IP address. We're going to have some call quality issues. Now, you may think that your computer, printer, or telephone is acting up, but really it's your network switch that does not know where to send packets because you have multiple devices trying to use the same address. Because of the precarious nature of having duplicate IP addresses, Seasoned technicians will keep in mind when troubleshooting, could something else be the root cause of a particular issue? Might you have duplicate IPs? The truth is, troubleshooting technology tends to be more detective work than anything. Identifying the actual problem is usually the challenge, and the problem will dictate the solution. So how do you pinpoint that you currently have duplicate IP addresses? Well, there are a few ways actually, and which way you choose will depend on the level of access you have to things on your network and your own comfort level in digging into those various devices. If you are experiencing odd symptoms with a particular device and you're already inside poking around, Oftentimes, we will just check whatever is there because we're already logged into the device. So what can you do? Well, you can check the DHCP server, which is responsible for handing out IP addresses, and see if it has multiple leases out for the same IP address. Or if you're having problems with a particular device, you can check its IP address that it is using and confirm that the DHCP server doesn't also have it assigned to something else. If you have 100 devices on your network, but you're only showing leases for 50, you already know you have a problem and that the DHCP server isn't even aware of half of the devices on your network. You can also run an ARP scan to see if there are multiple MAC addresses listed for a single IP address. If, as an example, a network printer is acting up, you can pop its IP address into a web browser. And if you get a login for a security camera, right off the bat, you know you have a problem. I would also suggest you hit the refresh in the web browser a few times because you may indeed get a login for that network printer once, 
but when you refresh, you may get a security camera. Remember, with duplicate IP addresses, you have a 50-50 chance. You can also check the information registry in the spider to see if multiple telephone extensions are registered using the same IP address. Also, the spider itself does not respond to pings by default. So, if you try to ping the spider and actually get a response, you know that something else is replying. Because again, the spider does not respond to pings unless you enable it first. So once you have identified that you have duplicate IP addresses, you need to determine what may have caused it in the first place. Is it possible that you have multiple DHCP servers running on the network that are all trying to hand out addresses without the other knowing? Did you inadvertently assign a static IP address to a device in the same dynamic range as your DHCP server? Did you inadvertently assign the same static IP address to multiple devices? If you recently lost power, is your network switch and wireless access point on a battery backup? But for some reason, is your DHCP server not on a battery backup? If your router is the acting DHCP server and it loses power, but your devices all stay powered on, it is often the case with the great majority of routers that it simply does not remember the previously handed out IP addresses after a reboot and may assign them again, not realizing that they are all still out there. After determining what happened, you need to correct the situation. The simplest, easiest way to do so with dynamic IP addresses is to simply reboot the devices that you have identified as having duplicate IPs. If the IP addresses were statically assigned, then they will of course need to be manually reset to another address. If in your investigation you find that you have a great many duplicate IPs, you should probably consider a complete network restart. The fastest way to do this is to simply restart the network switches and any wireless access points you may have. All of the devices in your building, whether wired or wireless, will drop their network connection and automatically reestablish with a new IP address once the network switches and access points have come back online. Just make sure you get all of the switches and access points. As far as mitigating future occurrences, be sure your core infrastructure is properly maintained with a battery backup and periodically test them. Batteries have a shelf life of two to three years. And for those running Windows Server, Microsoft added the ability for redundant DHCP servers all the way back with Windows Server 2012 R2. So be sure to contact us about setting up a failover DHCP server. If your router is the DHCP server for the network, just know that it is a usual culprit in forgetting all of the addresses upon reboot but they are getting better over time as routers are more and more often including a page called attached devices or device lists, which essentially just performs an ARP scan on your network to see what devices are out there and with what addresses. Devices themselves are also getting smarter over time as the latest and greatest may actually notify you that another device has been discovered on the network using its own IP address, therefore detecting a duplicate IP. Regardless of the cause for duplicate IP addresses, it is just one of those things that experienced technicians are always on the lookout for. So the next time you have a John Watson ask, how you knew there were duplicate IP addresses on the network, you can simply say that it was because you were looking for them. 
In either event, I hope you found this video helpful and will consider contacting us for your next project. We would love to help. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.